anyone that doesn't look absolutely silly in their grad cap? How? Just let me know how. Tell me your secret. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mark Rochelle, and thank you for clicking on my video. So if you have not read the title already for today's video, it is going to be a super easy yet glam makeup tutorial for graduation. Now this could absolutely be a look for a graduation ceremony, a graduation party. It's very glam yet still achievable and honestly pretty quick to do just because I know graduation time is stressful and can be kind of crazy all in of itself and then to have to worry about looking your best on top of that, it can be a lot to deal with. Believe me, I've been there. <laughs> so anyways guys, I really hope you're excited to watch this tutorial and hopefully it is helpful. So anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial and get started. Alrighty guys, so first things first, I already have my eyes prepped and primed and ready to go. You're definitely going to want to make sure you prime your eyes before any graduation parties, ceremonies, anything like that. But as far as eyeshadow goes, I'm going to be using the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette. And I'm going to use this shade right here called Transition and just kind of work it in, well, slightly above the crease, I should say. And then in windshield wiper motions, just really work that in and focus it on that outer corner of my eye as well. Then I'm also going to take on a different brush a shade from the palette called Bestie. This is just a slightly darker orangey kind of brown color and I'm sorry I didn't get clips of the palette so if you're unfamiliar with the palette I'm really sorry but I will link it down below. Um, but anyways I'm just going to do the same exact motion. It's just going to be slightly lower for this color and then yet again I'm using kind of a smaller shader brush in the shade Are You Kitten Me from the palette. It's a more brown toned color and I'm just heavily going to be focusing this on the outer corner. I wanted this look to be somewhat smoky but not like we're about to go out to a nightclub. You feel me? <laughs> so I'm going to continue to pack that shade on and then darken it up yet again with another shade from the palette called Brownie Points. I'm just going to use padding motions with this and then of course go back and forth between the colors I've been using and make sure everything is nice and blended. You're really going to want to make sure that you blend everything and just double check everything before you go out to any important event like a party or a graduation ceremony. And then for the lid color, I'm going to be using a shimmer from the Morphe 15N palette. Again, I'll link it down below so you guys can see what palette I'm talking about. But I'm just going to be placing this about three-fourths across my eyelid. I just felt that this look really warranted a shimmer because it is pretty subtle than I would normally do. And then, of course, where that shimmer kind of meets those mattes, I'm going to go ahead and blend those in just so we don't have any harsh edges. And I'm quickly just going to do a wing. I'm just going to speed through this because I feel like you guys have seen me do a winged eyeliner about a thousand times. But of course, if you want to attempt this for any spe any special occasion, I would really recommend practicing first. I know when I was graduating from high school, I practiced the look I was going to do for my prom, for my graduation. And that definitely paid off because it kind of gave me a road wrap for what I was going to be doing. And then as for face makeup, I'm first going to start by priming my face or moisturizing my face, I should say. I'm just using the Cetaphil moisturizer. Um, when I did actually graduate from high school, I just used all the regular products I always would because I knew they were not going to let me down. They were my go-tos, so I would really recommend that for you guys too. Don't try anything brand new out that you've never really tried before because it could honestly end in disaster. <laughs> but here I'm just taking the NYX Do Me Up primer and I'm just going to stipple that all over my face with a Morphe stippling brush and then because that just quite wasn't enough glow for me today I was doing this in you know the mindset that I could be getting ready for a special occasion I know I would want a little bit more glow on my face so I'm going to use the Becca backlighting primer as well just so I can look extra glowy and extra dewy. If you're someone that prefers a more matte look you might want to use an extra mattifying primer or something like that that way we don't have to combat any oil throughout the day. Thank you. 
Next up is foundation. Of course, I'm going to use a go-to. I'm using the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. This is one of my favorites right now. Honestly, I would just recommend using whatever foundation you is currently your fave and you know will not let you down. And I would recommend maybe going a little bit more full with the coverage than you normally would just because you're going to be taking photos. It's probably going to be a long day. So I would just keep that in the back of your mind um, while you're getting ready. And I'm just going to be buffing this foundation in and then we'll move on to concealer. So for concealer, I wanted to use a little bit more full coverage of a concealer, so I'm using the Naked Skin Concealer, I believe, in the shade Light, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm just going to conceal under my eyes, center of my forehead, bridge of my nose, and my chin, and then I'm going to go ahead and blend that in. Also, for any special occasion, I'm going to use a little bit more setting powder in any area that I tend to get a little oily or any area that tends to kind of rub off a little bit quicker. So concealer is one of the first things that goes on my face. Don't ask me why. It's kind of weird, but I'm going to kind of bake under my eyes a little bit and then do a little bit of bronzing. I'm just going to go kind of light with the bronzing. I didn't want to look too bronzed goddess, if you will. So I'm going to do the temples, the center of the forehead, and then of course the cheekbones. And then I'm also going to do a little bit of baking under the cheeks just to kind of clean everything up because I got a little bit muddy today. Um, and then of course this is going to add a little bit more of a chisel effect it looks really really pretty in pictures also gonna add a little bit of blush and I'm just gonna add that to the apples of my cheekbones and then sweep it outwards and then of course brush off my bake I'm going to go ahead and highlight the normal places I would. I go a little heavy on highlight for, you know, important occasions. That's not really something you have to do. That's just a personal preference of mine. But I'm going to highlight my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, and then my cupid's bow. And then of course I'm going to set the face. You'll want to use a setting spray that will not let you down. I typically use a dewy setting spray just because that's what I prefer. But of course use what works for you and your skin type. And then I'm going to go ahead and define the lower lash line and blow that out. And then that is it for this look. Super easy, super glam, and beautiful. Alrighty guys, and that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below before you leave. It would mean a lot to me. And if you are someone that is graduating in the near future, or if you have graduated already this year, that is such an amazing achievement, whether it's college or whatever it may be. I am proud of you. That is amazing. Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.